So in recent times, there has been a concern among the football fans that Cristiano Ronaldo is not um, playing up to his standards. So today in this video, we're gonna discuss about this problem of Cristiano Ronaldo. So at the very beginning, let's visualize his role at Real Madrid. You know, he came from Manchester United to Real Madrid and there he got um, Marcelo as a left back. Marcelo and Ronaldo played in the same wing, the left wing position. Uh, Marcelo played uh, as a left back and Ronaldo as a left winger. All of you know Marcelo is uh, really an offensive fullback. He loves to um, overlap uh, and uh, uh, he played the role of a uh, left winger at Real Madrid. So when Marcelo uh, overlapped and played the act of a left winger, Ronaldo got into the box and played uh, the role of a number nine. Now the question is, uh, there was also Benzema as a number nine. But Benzema helped uh, Cristiano Ronaldo to score goals. Because all of you know Cristiano is a good goal scorer. Uh, Benzema um, would then go into the left wing position, operated as a left winger. So he's not expert in the left side, but he helped Cristiano Ronaldo to score goals because um, Ronaldo was much more clinical than uh, Benzema um, at his prime time. And Ronaldo also got much support from the Real Madrid midfield trio of uh, Casemiro, Cruz um, and Modric. All the three midfield players uh, helped Cristiano Ronaldo to score the goals. And also Carvajal, though he's a right back, had a good connection uh, with Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, uh, he and Marcelo both delivered crosses and passes to Cristiano Ronaldo to score uh, some amazing goals. So now look, Cristiano Ronaldo got support from um, Real Madrid's uh, whole positioning player, like uh, le uh, left back Marcelo, um, Benzema, Bale, Carvajal, uh, and the three midfielders. Cruz, Casemiro and Modric. So he got help from all the sides. And by this process, he became one of the Madrid legends by scoring many goals. Now the problem came to Juventus. Ronaldo went to Turin to face some new challenges at Serie A to win the Champions League for Juventus. But he didn't get the same midfield um, at Juventus like uh, Real Madrid because Juventus is uh, midfield standard was not so good as uh, Real Madrid. As their midfield was poor, uh, Ronaldo didn't get enough support, um, I mean the assist or the passes or crosses uh, to compete in the bigger competition like UEFA Champions League. Uh, though they had um, a good dominance at Serie A, but Ronaldo's main target of coming to Juventus was to win the Champions League. Because in bigger cham uh, championships, you need uh, to have a good midfield. But uh, Juventus didn't got that. And as a result, uh, there was no support for Cristiano Ronaldo to help from the midfield. So, in his third season of uh, Cristiano Ronaldo at uh, Juventus, he's suffering. Because he's playing as a number nine position player and as a number nine you need to have enough support from the midfield or from the fullbacks but he is not getting he's also suffering in the portugal national team so now the question is is ronaldo finished no he's not finished he can be used perfectly if the midfield standard of uh, juventus can be upgraded so juventus is uh, hoping that cristiano ronaldo will extend his contract with Juventus and uh, will continue one or two more seasons with them. But to win the bigger championships like you have a Champions League, you, you need to have a good midfield. You need to support Cristiano Ronaldo to score goals. So in, in the next season, Juventus should upgrade their midfield. Otherwise, the challenge of Cristiano Ronaldo will go into vain. So this was all about Cristiano Ronaldo, this recent form. Hope you have liked this video. If does, then don't forget to give likes, comments, and shares. 
and thanks to those guys um, who have already subscribed our channel and I would like to request you to subscribe this channel thank you for watching this video uh, see you in the next episode till then very goodbye